Welcome to PA Education. In this webinar, we'll discuss some of the key PA organizations whose work is relevant to PA education. The first group of organizations is called the four organizations, or more commonly, the four orgs. These are the principal associations that certify, accredit, and represent PAs and PA educators. The four orgs comprise PAEA, ARCPA, NCCPA, and AAPA. If you're feeling a bit overwhelmed by this wall of acronyms, you're in good company. But don't worry, we'll walk through each of these, unpack the acronyms, and explain what they do and how their work relates to PA education. The first of the four organizations is PAEA. PAEA is the Physician Assistant Education Association. It is the only national organization representing PA educational programs in the United States. PAEA provides services for faculty at its member programs, as well as to applicants, students, and other stakeholders. As faculty or administrative staff at a PA program that is a member of PAEA, you are yourself a member of the association. PAEA's website is available at paeaonline.org and provides a variety of valuable resources for PA educators and PA programs, including webinars, email discussion lists, publications, and PA education news. The heart and soul of PAEA is its volunteers. PA educators serve on many different committees and work groups to promote the shared interests of all PA educational programs. This includes the development of new products and services, the establishment of educational standards, and other joint work that promotes high-quality PA education. It's worth taking a quick tour of our volunteer structures so that you have an idea of the wide array of volunteer opportunities available to you as a member of PAEA. We won't go into detail on these structures, but just provide a quick overview of the general design. Much more information is available on the PAEA website, including the specific purposes of the groups, as well as their current membership and projects. The principal governing body of PAEA is the Board of Directors. Five volunteer divisions, grouped by topic, report to the Board. Planning and Governance, Advocacy and Research, Curriculum and Assessment, Faculty Enrichment and Recruitment, and Admissions and Outreach. Under each division is a set of councils, which focus on specific projects. Under Planning and Governance, Finance, Governance, Ethics, Audit, and Board Appointed Task Forces established for specific time-limited work. Under Advocacy and Research, Government Relations and External Affairs, Research, and external liaisons who represent PAEA to industry and other professional associations. Under Curriculum and Assessment, the aptly named Curriculum and Assessment. Under Faculty Enrichment and Recruitment, Faculty Development, Conference, and Leadership Development and Recruitment. And finally, under Admissions and Outreach, Admissions and Recruitment, Inclusion and Diversity, and Student Services, which is a council still under development. Let's look at some of the products and services the PAEA offers. First on the list is CASPA, the Central Application Service for Physician Assistants. CASPA is a convenient online service that allows people to apply to any number of participating PA programs by completing a single application. With far less paperwork and streamlined processing, CASPA offers prospective students the ability to simultaneously apply to multiple programs across the country. In addition to CASPA, we've developed two websites to help applicants. The first website is the PAEA Program Directory, a comprehensive catalog of all accredited and developing PA programs. The directory provides details of each program's curriculum, their admissions requirements and prerequisite coursework, veterans programs, and more. The second website is PA Focus, a regularly updated weblog with a focus on applying to PA school offering detailed explanations of the admissions process, interview advice, and tips on using CASPA. We also offer an ongoing faculty development series called the PANDO Workshops. These are one to three day focused workshops on topics relevant to PA faculty and administrative staff. These include the accreditation process for PA programs, admissions, basic faculty skills, clinical coordinators, enhanced clinical coordinators, enhanced faculty skills, leadership, and research. 
we also offer an intensive training workshop called the New Program Directors Retreat. This workshop is designed to meet the needs of new PA program directors who have been in their position for two years or less, as well as associate directors who are considering the program director position. The new program director's retreat provides instruction and skill development exercises in numerous important aspects of PA academic administration, management, and leadership. The retreat is four days long, and we offer a basic version in the summer with an advanced version in the fall. To help assess student progress and facilitate program evaluation, we've created two kinds of exams, the PACRAT exam and seven different end of rotation exams. PACRAT is a self-assessment exam, typically taken twice, once at the end of the didactic year and once at the end of the clinical year. This exam provides students feedback on what subjects they know well and where they need to spend more time studying. The PACRAT exam comprises 225 multiple choice questions and costs $40 per exam. Each November we release a new updated version of the exam and have been doing so for almost 20 years. The end of rotation exams, first released in January 2013, were developed by PA educators for use during the clinical year of PA education. Each end of rotation exam was created by a team of PA educators reviewed by exam experts, and designed for use by PA programs. Each exam comprises 120 multiple choice questions, which are based on specific blueprints and topic lists. The end of rotation exams cost $30 per exam. Seven different end of rotation exams are available. Emergency medicine, family medicine, general surgery, internal medicine, pediatrics, psychiatry and behavioral health, and women's health. The blueprints and topic lists are available on the PAEA website. The exams themselves are delivered online and do not require any special software to be installed. In addition, sophisticated security features are built in to prevent students from cheating on or sharing the content of these exams. PAEA publishes a variety of handbooks, research, and other resources to support PA program faculty and staff. Some examples include the Clinical Educator Handbook, a resource guide for clinical educators to help them carry out their multiple duties and responsibilities during the clinical phase of PA education. The Preceptor Orientation Handbook, a resource guide for clinical coordinators to guide their work with preceptors. The Journal of Physician Assistant Education, published quarterly, is PAEA's official peer-reviewed journal and publishes scholarly work by PA educators. The Annual Report, a survey of all member programs, including demographics, matriculation and graduation rates, and other statistical information on the field. PAEA also operates Pi Alpha, the National PA Honor Society, organized for the promotion and recognition of both PA students and graduates. Membership testifies to the inductees' significant academic achievement and honors them for their leadership, research, community and professional service, and related activities. Finally, PAEA puts on the Annual Education Forum, the yearly gathering of PA educators to network, learn, and share ideas and research. The forum is held every fall and moves from city to city. Now that you've heard about some of our products and services, you may want to contact us for more information. Here are email addresses for our most popular programs and departments. Additional contact details are provided at the end of this webinar. The second of the four organizations is ARCPA. ARCPA is the Accreditation Review Commission on Education for the Physician Assistant. It is the accrediting agency that protects the interests of the public and the PA profession by defining the standards for PA education and evaluating PA programs to ensure their compliance with those standards. The accreditation is a process of quality assurance that determines whether the program meets the established standards. In order to graduate students who can practice as PAs, a PA program must be accredited by ARCPA. ARCPA's website is available at arc-pa.org and among other things provides a list of all accredited PA programs, details on the accreditation process, and the accreditation standards. The list of accredited programs shows both the date each program was initially accredited 
as well as when their next accreditation review will take place. These accreditation reviews take place twice a year in March and September. ARCPA publishes a document called the Accreditation Standards for Physician Assistant Education, currently in its fourth edition. Let's take a quick look at the document. For instance, consider standards A206 and A207. The program director must be a PA or physician, and the program director must not be a medical director. These standards indicate that something must be the case, meaning that they are mandatory for accreditation. On the other hand, consider standard A106. The sponsoring institution should provide PA students and faculty, etc. This standard indicates that something should be the case, meaning that they must be met unless there is a compelling reason otherwise. Taken together, all these standards constitute how ARCPA evaluates whether a PA program is eligible for accreditation. The third of the four organizations is NCCPA. NCCPA is the National Commission on Certification for Physician Assistants. It is the only certifying organization for PAs in the United States and is dedicated to assuring the public that PAs meet established standards of clinical knowledge and cognitive skills before entering into practice and throughout their careers. All U.S. states, the District of Columbia, and the U.S. territories have decided to rely on NCCPA certification as one of the criteria for licensing and regulating PAs. NCCPA's website is available at nccpa.net and provides extensive information about PA certification. It also allows employers to easily check the certification status of any PA by using their name or NCCPA ID. In collaboration with the other three of the four organizations, NCCPA led an effort to develop a standard set of PA competencies, which PAs are expected to start developing during their PA education and master as they progress through their clinical careers. The competencies available on the NCCPA website are broken into six major groups. Medical knowledge, interpersonal and communication skills, patient care, professionalism, practice-based learning and improvement, and system-based practice. The fourth of the four organizations is AAPA. AAPA is the American Academy of Physician Assistants. It is the National Professional Society for PAs and represents certified PAs in all medical and surgical specialties across the United States. AAPA advocates and educates on behalf of both the profession and the patients that PAs serve and works to ensure the professional growth, personal excellence, and professional recognition of PAs. AAPA's website is available at aapa.org and has a vast amount of information on the PA profession, professional research, and advocacy materials. AAPA and PAEA jointly produced a certification review book, now in its fourth edition, that is available on both organizations' websites as well as most online bookstores. Preceptors are a critical part of PA clinical education. To help promote the preceptor role and recognize those who serve as PA preceptors, AAPA established two programs. The first, the Clinical Preceptor Recognition Program, formally recognizes preceptors who are endorsed by a PA program. Each year, AAPA and PAEA also grant a Preceptor of the Year Award to a preceptor who has demonstrated an extraordinary effort as a PA preceptor. The second, in collaboration with PAEA, allows PA programs to award Category 1 Continuing Medical Education to PA preceptors, making precepting a more attractive option for busy clinical PAs. Those are the four orgs and the rich variety of ways they are involved in PA education. Now let's focus on some other PA organizations that are also engaged in work related to PA education. The Student Academy of the AAPA fosters the personal and professional development of PA students encourages educational excellence, and advocates for students on professional issues. The Association of Postgraduate PA Programs, or APPAP, assists in the development and organization of postgraduate educational programs and curricula for PAs. The NCCPA Health Foundation, associated with NCCPA, conducts research and provides education about the PA profession with the aim to advance the quality of PA educational and clinical practice. The Physician Assistant Foundation 
the philanthropic arm of AAPA, provides educational scholarships, research grants, policy fellowships, and other targeted investments to improve the quality of the PA profession. And finally, the Physician Assistant History Society, the PAHX, is dedicated to preserving and sharing the history and legacy of the PA profession through papers, oral histories, photos, and other archival materials. In this webinar, we've covered the four orgs and some other important PA organizations and their relationship to PA education. However, this only scratches the surface of PA education. For more information, please contact PAEA.